Good morning. In this video, we are going to continue with chapter 4, Quadratic Equations. Let us continue with the exercise 4.2, question number 4. The sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's ages in years 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. Let the present age of Rahman be x years. So 3 years ago, his age was x minus 3 years. And 5 years, hence that is after 5 years, his age will be x plus 5 years. It is given that sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's age 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. So Rahman's age 3 years ago, that is x minus 3. And 5 years from now, that is x plus 5. Sum of reciprocal. So x minus 3's reciprocal will be 1 by x minus 3. x plus 5 reciprocal, 1 by x plus 5. Sum of those two is 1 by 3. So 1 by x minus 3 plus 1 by x plus 5 is 1 by 3. Sum of reciprocals of the age before 3 years and after 5 years is 1 by 3. Then we are going to cross multiply this. So x plus 5 plus x minus 3 by x minus 3 into x plus 5 is equal to 1 by 3. Solving, we get 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 3 into x plus 5 is equal to 1 by 3. Let us cross multiply. We get 6x plus 6 is equal to x square plus 2x minus 15. So x square is minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. We can split the middle term as minus 7x and plus 3. So when we solve them, we get x is equal to 7 or x is equal to minus 3. But age cannot be negative. Therefore, Rahman's age is 7 years right now. Moving on to question number 6. The diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side, find the sides of the field. So let the shorter side of the rectangle be x meters. Then the larger side of the rectangle will be x plus 30 meters. Diagonal of the rectangle will be root of square sum of the square of both the sides. So root of x square plus x plus 30, the whole square. It is given that the diagonal of the rectangle is 60 meters more than the shorter side. So therefore, root of x square plus x plus 30, the whole square is equal to 30 plus x. Now therefore, we have the equation with us. Now we are going to take square on both the sides. So we have x square plus x plus 30, the whole square is equal to 60 plus x, the whole square. Let us open all the brackets, then solving we get x square minus 60x minus 2700 is equal to 0. So we can split the middle term. Minus 60 can be written as minus 90 plus 30. Again solving them, we get x is equal to 90 or x is equal to minus 30. However, side cannot be negative. Therefore, length of the shorter side which is x will be 90 meters and length of the larger side is x plus 30 which is 90 plus 30 over here so the answer is 120 meters so we have found the length and the breadth the longer side and the shorter side of the rectangle now question number eight a train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed if the five kilometer per hour more it would have taken one hour less for the same journey find the speed of the train so now let the speed of the train be x kilometer per hour so time taken to cover 360 kilometer is 360 by x hours isn't it according to the given equation 
if the speed had been 5 more it would have taken 1 hour less so distance we know that speed into time if the speed was increased by 5 so x plus 5 and the, then the time would have been reduced by 1 time is 360 by x so 360 by x minus 1 to cover the same distance distance is 360 km so now we have formed our equation let us solve them now so first let us just multiply term wise so first we term x and x will get cancelled we'll be left with 360 minus x plus 5 into 360 will be 1800 by x minus 5 into 1 is 5 equal to 360 now x is in the denominator so let us take the lcm and take it to the right side also so we will have 360x minus x plus 1800 my uh, minus 5x is equal to 360x again solving everything we will get x square plus 5x minus 1800 equal to 0 so 5x can be split as 45x minus 40x then solving them we will get x is equal to minus 45 or x is equal to 40 again speed cannot be negative so therefore the speed of the train is 40 km per hour two water taps together can fill a tank in 9 3 by 8 hours the tap of larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank so now let the time taken by the smaller pipe to fill the tank be x hours so it takes x hour for the smaller tap to fill the pipe okay time taken by the larger pipe larger pipe takes 10 hours less than the smaller one so x minus 10 hours part of the tank filled by smaller pipe in 1 hour so it takes x hours for the pipe to fill the tank so in 1 hour it will fill 1 by x part of the tank and for the larger pipe it will fill 1 by x minus 10 part of the tank it is given that the tank can be filled in 9 3 by 8 that means 75 by 8 hours by both the pipes together okay so part filled by the smaller pipe in 1 hour is 1 by x so part of tank filled by the smaller pipe in 75 by 8 hours you have to multiply that so the answer will be 75 by 8x now part of the tank filled by larger pipe in 1 hour is 1 by x minus 10 so in 75 by 8 hours it will take 1 by x minus 10 into 75 by 8 which is 75 by 8 into x minus 10 so tank filled by smaller tap plus tank filled by larger tap is one there is only one tank to fill isn't it so first the smaller pipe then the larger pipe if we add how much they can fill together that would be one tank for us so now let us form the equation 75 by 8x plus 75 by 8 into x minus 10 is equal to 1 now both the equation has 75 by 8 common so let us take that out and then we will be left with 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 equal to 1 so let us take the constants to one side we will have 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 is equal to 8 by 75 let us take the lcm So we have x minus 10 plus x by x into x minus 10 is equal to 8 by 75. That is 2x minus 10 by x into x minus 10 is 8 by 75. Let us cross multiply this, and solving we will get 8x square minus 230x plus 750 is equal to zero. 
let us split the middle term as minus 200x and minus 30x when we solve we get x is equal to 25 or x is equal to 30 by 8 now in this question both are positive so let us see which one we are going to choose first but 30 by 8 what is the value of 30 by 8 that is less than 10 and what value are we finding here x it is said that larger pipe is 10 less than the smaller pipe the time taken by the larger pipe is 10 hours less than the smaller pipe if the small pipe itself is less than 10 then how much time does the larger pipe take that is not possible isn't it so therefore x is equal to 25 time taken individually by the smaller pipe is 25 hours and time taken individually by the larger pipe is 25 minus 10 which is 50 hours with this we have come to the end of this session we'll continue in the next video thank you